welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Um, this is the 10 top 10 must-haves for business success. I'm Krista Inikovsky, the Director of Member Success and Head Coach here at JVology. And we're going to spend the next 50, 55 minutes tops. I promise I will have you out by the top of the hour. Um, this is all about you and your business. So everything we're doing, saying, is I want you to really internalize and think about where you are on your entrepreneurial journey um, and what you're liking, where the struggles are, and what you're really seeking to, to do with this. Um, so I would love to, um, I'm going to have lots of questions, so be ready to jump in the chat. Um, the first thing is, has anybody done the find your flow quiz? It's a specific quiz that we put together here at JVology. Yeah, Trevor, I know you've done it. Um, we've tried to get those out to you who are reg have registered, but go ahead. You don't have to do it now because it might distract you, but go ahead and grab the link that Victoria has put in the chat. The find your flow quiz is, um, it's going to be your a way to help you internalize exactly where you are on the points that um, are necessary to grow your business. So it actually covers these 10 points that we're going to be talking about today. These like must haves to have a business. Um, oh, great. So Sarah, you did it and it was really helpful. Super. Um, it gives everybody a, a score and it allows you to rate yourself and get really clear on where you're strong and even things that might be completely missing. Um, and I know we all have these elements where we're like, yeah, I know I should do that, but I'm not really sure if it's done to its fullest. And what we look out here um, at JBology is making sure that everything we're doing is aligned. Who likes to work really hard and struggle and like worry that, uh, worry when the next dollar and the next customer is coming? Anybody here? No, no, no. Like the, this, the struggle of entrepreneurship is real. And it's going to happen, but we don't want that to be our main way of functioning. And so we really are all about creating the ease and flow and joy of doing what is is that you are set out to do and why you wanted to do this in the first place. Because I think we can all agree that it's way easier to just go get a job and show up for somebody else than it is to do it yourself. Um can anybody relate to that? You're like, yeah, I'm gonna be an entrepreneur. It sounds like it's so much fun. And then you're like, whoa, this is harder than I thought. Um, so that is definitely, you know, we work with, oh my gosh, you know, thousands of entrepreneurs all around the world for years. And, and the, that's what we're looking to do is help you flip out of the, those parts that are feeling struggling. And one of the things I like to think about is if your business is a boat, we're building this boat. And sometimes very often we start trying to sail the boat across the ocean before we've truly finished building it. And we haven't put it together quite yet properly. So the quiz, what the 10 must haves that I'm talking about today um, and what we do in our 3B program is to really help you make sure that the boat, your business is like this strong, epically reliable, sustainable vessel that then you can go off and do all these amazing things like joint venture, like scale, like grow. And you're doing it in a way that's fun because you've already recognized where the holes in the boat are. Does that metaphor make sense to anybody? Give me a big, all right. I will let you know about me. <laughs> I come from an entertainment background. I move around a lot. Um, and I like to make get a response. So I would much rather talk with all of you when you're responding. You can give me jazz hands or point or thumbs up and thumbs down than to um, be in a bunch of blank faces that are just like, I don't know. So um, I appreciate that. Um, all right. So do we want a boat that works, that they can sail, that's in flow? Maybe it's like this epic cruise ship. Actually, there's a hilarious, if, if you're um, in our JVology Facebook group, um, I think it was a Facebook group today, Victoria, that uh, it's a meme and it shows this beautiful, like sleek yacht. And it's like, this is my marketing plan. And then the next picture, it says, this is my marketing budget. And it looks just like the yacht. But if you look up close, it's actually an iron, like, like that you'd iron clothes with, but it, it had the same exact shape. Um, and then underneath it, it says, and this is my expected ROI and it shows a massive cruise ship. And that honestly is like, it just made me laugh because we have these big ideas and then we wanna do it on a budget of an ironing board of, a, of an iron and then expect this giant ROI. So I thought that was 
very funny and quite poignant to what we're talking about today. Hi, Dr. Sherry. It's so good to see you. Um, all right. So I wanted before anybody spends another minute here, I want to know you to know if you're in the right place, because at JVology, we work with a wide range of entrepreneurs all the way from, I'm going to start at the high end. So multiple seven figure annual entrepreneurs um, are in Jay's mastermind groups. Um, we just went to Cabo um, for a one week summit together doing high end masterminding, um, joint ventures at a high level. So you know, we work all the way up there. And JVology was actually built for those people in the middle that you've got a really sustainable business and now you're looking to scale and you wanna learn how to do that through joint ventures. Meaning we're gonna reach out from one professional to another and see how we can serve and support our clientele together, which has a lot more leverage than if I was just out looking for my own clients. And that's where, where JVology started. But what we recognized um, is especially since the pandemic, I'll just say 100%, after 2020, when everything changed, the, the people who were coming our way into JVology Live were really in a different category. And what it looked like was we were hoping, they were, they were wanting to learn how to joint venture and we were trying to teach them how to joint venture, but Jay and I recognized that they didn't quite have everything put together yet. And that's because there's so many changes that happened due to COVID. Maybe it was taking your, um, your online face-to-face, -face, hand hand-to-hand brick and mortar business and now trying to make that into something that is um, that is digital, or you know, being let go of the business that you were in and trying to create something new in a consulting um, manner. So you know, whatever it was that that caused that, we realized we had a lot of people that, regardless of their years of experience and their expertise, they were new to this space of using digital marketing and online connection, just like we're talking today on Zoom, um, as a way to structure a business and replace the income that they had before and actually turn it into a viable business. Does this resonate with anybody? Did anyone just give me hands, big hands? All right, good. Pat, Sarah, Deanne's uh, giving me a little head nod. Um, so from seeing that and recognizing that, Jay and I said, you know, look, we need to be able to serve the people that we have coming to us and help them through this place. So that's what, um, that's really where we are, what we're talking about today. So I want to, I'd love for you to put in the chat is, um, are you one of, there's 63% of entrepreneurs that haven't broken six figures yet? Would you fall in that category of an entrepreneur? And here was, here's the distinction. You may have been making six figures in your corporate, in your brick and mortar, in your other business, but maybe right now you've transitioned to something new or you're experimenting with something new um, or you have a, a younger business or maybe you've actually been at this for a couple of years, 10 years, and you still haven't broken six figures. So if that's you, then you're in the right place. Great. All right, next question. Um, have you invested in other program, like program after program? in all these different tactics, but you're still finding yourself spinning and maybe even more overwhelmed than before. You're investing in multiple programs or if you just even look back over the last few years, is it hit a yes down there in the chat if that sounds like you. All right, and the next question, do you feel like you're working too hard for too little? We all know what that feels like. We end up working very, very hard for ourselves to build what we want. And then we're going, all right, where's the money? Where's, where are the people? Where are my clients? And how can I get them in more consistently? Um, all right, next question. Do you ever feel overwhelmed with all of the things that you need to handle or master in your business? You're like, I just want to teach yoga and mindfulness. Why do I have to know what button to push on this CRM to connect this together and make this happen and make this happen? Can anybody relate to the struggle of feeling like you have to do more things than you really even care to do in efforts of being in this kind of solopreneur or small business space? Anybody relate to that? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sarah's like, yes. All right. And then one last question. I appreciate you guys participating. Um, do you feel like you sometimes or often confuse activity with progress? Is being busy making you feel like, yeah, what I do today? Oh, I was so busy. Pat's like, yes, that's me. <laughs> totally me. 
Um, all right, awesome. I would like to just, um, after hearing that list, does anybody feel like they should just go? It's totally fine. My feelings won't be hurt. If you're like, nope, I've got all this down pat. I'm making high six figures and I'm at the next level. Then I'd love to reach out and tell you about some of our other ways that you can engage and connect. But if any of those are resonating with you, then you're definitely in the right place. And I mainly want you to know that you're not alone. One of the coolest things that I love about our geology community is the community, right, Dr. Sherry? I mean, and, and, and Pat, Trevor, I mean, those that have been here have been around, and Michael. Hi, Michael Neely. How are you? You've been around the community for a very long time. Um, and that support, the knowing that you're not alone, the having somebody to talk to, the having the support of a Facebook group where you're able to pop in questions and you know that if you have something important going on, your room will not be empty because you'll at least have someone who cares about you that's there supporting you. So those elements are just as important as the tactics and the strategies and putting the pieces together. So if you're at all get feeling that frustration of I'm working so hard alone in my room behind my computer, trying to get it together to a point where it flows and there's ease, then take a deep breath because they're definitely here and you found a really cool community um, that does that. Um, <laughs> All right, so thanks for answering all those questions. This is, might be totally in left field, but it crossed my mind and I like to like say funny things. Um, it'll also get your minds thinking. Uh, if your business was your boyfriend or girlfriend, what would you tell it right now? And if you could write that in the chat, I love you, that's so nice. Aw, come on, there's gotta be more than love. I was kind of hoping they'd have a little bit something like, what have you done for me lately? Or why are you costing me so much money? Or, you know, there's got to be some other feelings if you take your business outside of yourself at a whole separate entity and go, all right, what's really going on? How do you make me feel every day? How am I feeling about this? Um, and the reason I bring it up, to me, awareness is everything. Ton of personal development work, just like Dr. Sherry, just like Michael. Like, and if you're not aware of how you're feeling, and bringing it to the surface, then there's nothing you can do about it. That's when you get stuck in the struggle and then you're just looking for the next thing, the next thing. And what happens is your perspective and um, it gets more and more narrow, not, no, not narrow in a good way, like focused, but like the grind gets more and more narrow. And then it becomes about doing the right thing and you begin to lose perspective. So that's why I like to bring that up about, you know, looking at your business from different angles and um, just getting real with how you're feeling today and be totally honest. And that can change at any time. Um, all right, so I wanted, there's, there's three, Jay talks about this. And so I wanted to bring it to the room today that there are three different types of motivation for entrepreneurs. And I want some feedback from all of you on which of these three, or maybe there is some sort of combination that really resonates with you. So the three types of motivation for an entrepreneur are inspiration. Anybody does that kind of just like sound like, oh, that's me. Yes, Sarah, Sarah's inspired. Schroeder's on his way in. So inspiration, that usually happens when we as an entrepreneur somehow in our life went through an experience that was significantly life-changing. And it really like woke us up to a new way of being. And now we feel compelled to learn how to do that and share that message with others. Does that, now does that resonate? Does anybody else feel like you're an inspired entrepreneur? Like you love what you are doing and it's meaningful. Michael does. Sherry, I bet you do. Sarah, Pat, yeah, absolutely. All right, so that's lovely. Now, can anybody relate to type two? We have this, um, the inspiration. Who's kind of in that perspiration spot? Your motivation is perspiration, which means you're in the hustle, the struggle, and the hard work just to get it done already. Can anybody relate to that? Nobody. Nobody's I'm in the wrong room. Nobody's struggled. Is this all just a piece of cake? All right. Yeah. Those of us have been around a while. Michael's like, yeah, like I'm totally inspired. And I've also experienced the struggle completely. What about you, Trevor? Calling you out. Any struggle, You're like peace, it's all, it's all an ease and flow. <laughs> all right. Um, and then the third one is desperation. 
So the desperation motivated type for entrepreneurship is when something significant in your life caused you to have to make a change. Maybe it's from COVID that you lost your job or you could no longer see um, clients in person uh, or there was a sickness in your family and you had to change what you were doing. Does anybody have a story of desperation that triggered and say, I need to step into becoming my own source of income? And Sarah, great. I'm not, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you share it today, but I would love to know if that resonates. Anybody feel like a combination of those? Yeah, I hear you, Pat. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so go ahead, I, I just while we're taking a moment here, let me know which one it really resonates most with you. Like, what do you, let's do, what do you really feel? Not what do you want to feel, but what do you, if you tap in and tune in, what are you feeling right now? Because we can start inspired and then end up with the hustle and end up with the struggle and the push. Good, 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 good. All right. So from the point of inspiration, that is where we really want to be and where we can thrive and get more done. Um, and sometimes, often, it is just about a pivot of the mindset shift, which is why we incorporate mindset in to the program that I'm gonna be telling you about. Um, I do wanna share with you today um, our business basics breakthrough. I'm gonna walk you through these 10, these top 10 must haves. Um, and then of course, invite you, if that looks like something you wanna do, um, what we do um, in, in that. And a big part of it is the mindset because we can go from just simply a reframe and the recognition that we're in this space of hustle, struggle, not knowing which button to push, like, oh, I can't move forward because, and you have this, like, this story, the story that the website's not done yet, the story that my bookkeeper isn't working fast enough and I still have things to do. Like, we all have these stories that we get wrapped up in. And so by staying in tune with the mindset piece every week, that really helps you just get total clarity and go, all right, poof, that's my story. Here's how I can focus. And here I can bring the energy of being inspired into my business. Does that sound interesting? Awesome. All right. So I would love to share with you. Actually, I'm, I'm going to share this 10 tips, 10 pieces in just one moment. I first wanted to give you with four components that Jay um, and our team have put together that we feel is incredibly important to really help you move forward in the needle. Remember, the whole idea here is that we are we're in this position in our business where the, we want the boat to just sail, right? We're not gonna push the boat. We're not gonna keep dumping the, the water out of it, but we have to recognize where the holes are um, and, or if the sail is not up or whatever that, that metaphor is for you. So in efforts of, uh, or the ease of putting that together as quickly and easily as possible, we don't wanna overthink it, make this harder than it is. Um, we're just gonna put it together and we wanna incorporate four things. One is the mindset. Two is accountability, so that you are in community with other people and you have someone to check in on and go, yep, I did it, I didn't do it. Here's what I'm up to, here's why I'm stuck. Okay, now you're unstuck, keep going. So that accountability piece is huge. Um, three is polishing up these 10 must-haves that I'm gonna go over so that you can see where your focus should be so we're not in the state of overwhelm. Incredibly important. Um, I feel like I'm, I become the... I won't let people be overwhelmed. When I see it and I sense it, I'm like, this is unnecessary energy. We can, we can easily work through this and get you focused on the things that are going to move the needle forward most um, in your business. And the fourth and final part that we incorporate in this is a scheduled work block to actually implement and do. Who's ever been in a program where they're throwing so much information at you. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, you'll need a website and then you'll need a landing page and then you're gonna need some CRM that does this and you're gonna need this that does that. And then you're, you're sitting there by yourself going, where, how, when am I gonna do that? Anybody ever felt that way? Yeah, for sure. So we incorporate a work block immediately after talking about the, the one topic of the day. Everybody goes off, we're still on Zoom together, just close off, out your camera, do the work, get things done, button it up, come back at the end of the hour, check in, how did it go, and see what's actually been done and what's created so it's now off the list and that boat is getting more and more um, 
rock star were they? Uh, all right. So with that, I'm going to share with you what those 10 module we call well, they're, they're in the class, they're modules, but they're really what I consider your must haves. And here's the interesting thing. If you have not been working in the digital space before, and there's pieces to this that are brand new to you. And that's another reason that we like to go through this because that transition from person to person, in person um, to digital, you end up losing some pieces. All right, so let's just, I'm gonna go through them fairly quickly, um, but I would love to kind of get a reaction on like, you could do even a thumbs up, like I totally have this, um, or you're like, I don't, we can do hand signals. You're all also welcome to use the chat. Um, now I want you to really think about this. Do you have perfect clarity on the problem that you solve and for whom? I know it sounds super, super basic. Does that sound basic to anybody? You're like, duh, of course I know what I'm doing. Of course I know what my, I know the problem that I solve and I know who I solve it for. But here's where the test comes in and why we know for sure that not everybody has this button together. When you meet a potential JV partner, let's just say that Michael Neely and I are destined to be amazing JV partners because we serve the same audience. But Michael does one thing and I do something else, but we recognize that our audience needs both of those things. So I'm like, Michael, we should totally JV. You've, you've got like this epic list. You have followers from your podcast. It can make a big impact. And he's like, all right, Krista, what do you have for me? What can I, what can I give my people? And I'm like, um, well, I'm, I mean, I could do some one-on-one -on -one or I, um, <laughs> they could email me. I can send my scheduling link or um, I'm thinking about putting a group program together, but I haven't quite finished all the videos yet. Can you see the disconnect here? Like even if you're handed on a silver platter and you meet the best, the perfect JV partner, and they say, all right, let's do this. If you don't have these pieces together, there's nothing for you to JV. And if you're not JVing, it also means you also probably aren't there making the offer to get more clients, which means your boat is not sailing. You're not in flow. Does that, please raise your hand if that resonates or say something in the chat. Now I can't see everybody. Let's see if I can open it up. All right, so I'm just trying to. Poker on, there we go. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what it means to be that level of preparedness that when the opportunity comes up and you are ready, the stage shows up, the podcast shows up, the JV partner shows up, that you're like, yes, I have all of my pieces together. Not just to talk, but to monetize it, to make it easy for people to get on board what I, the problem I can solve and help solve it for those people. Um, all right. So number two is I have perfect clarity on my product service or experience. And again, if it's not teed up and ready to go, then we want to get that done. Um, and keep in mind, each of these 10 must haves is one single week, one single class. So we're, the idea is to understand it, get credible guidance on what that means, how to do it and do it. Because chances are you're really, really close, right? If it's not already 100% done, you're probably really close. You just need to button it up or you need somebody to say, um, hello, Enrique, get it done. Get it done already, right? Instead of just like, eh, it's kind of out there. And so through the, um, the Mindset Monday, the Accountability Friday, you are held accountable. And then in the middle, you're getting the information that you need to do it and just make it happen. And we're trying to accelerate you through so that you're out there sailing just as soon as possible. Um, number three is that you have 10 at least testimonials for your product and service. And that's something a lot of people don't have. And they realize, boom, we learned what to do. We got it done during the work block made some phone calls, but the next week that was done and then how to implement it, where to put it so that really makes a big impact um, and helps your brand. Four is tech stack. Anybody here get a little bit afraid of tech? A little shy in the boots about tech? I'm, I'm guessing it's everybody with their camera off are the people who are shy about tech. Um, there is a lot of, of pieces to it. Uh, and when you're given the guidance of how to just streamline it, we want to get there as easily as possible, not overcomplicate it. And we certainly want you to build it in a way that all of your pieces talk to each other. So you're not out there cutting pasting. So that's, um, that's what that is. And let me just, um, all right, I'm doing good. Five, you have at least one 
aligned lead magnet. Who has a lead magnet? Raise your hand. Does anybody not know what a lead magnet is? We're talking about a freebie. So let's say I'm on Michael Neely's podcast and I'm having this amazing conversation and they're like, well, you know, I've got this amazing um, meditation that I do and I'd love for all of your audience members to have it. So if you go to kristanikovsky.com, you know, just grab, grab my meditation. I would love for you to do have that. And then they'll get there and then I'll say, oh, here's Chris's meditation. They put in their name and email address. I send it to them. And now I've captured that lead and I can begin to have a conversation with them. Now, having a lead magnet is, oh, you know, just one part of it. A lot of people get them. The key word that we focus on here is aligned. If the lead magnet is not aligned, you're either attracting the wrong customer, the wrong clientele, um, or you are delivering something that doesn't actually align to what you want to sell them or what you want to offer them. And that's fun. I love the lead magnet day. I think is awesome. Um, and next we have swipe copy. Anybody, if you don't know what swipe copy is, wave your hands really big or yell, I don't know in the chat. All right. So I'm not going to dive into it too much, but this is something that you need when you're going to be joint venturing. It's a way to um, make sharing what you do with your JV partner super easy. So we help you um, create that, give you some hacks on how to manage it, how to keep track of it, where to write it. And then of course, you know, getting help at any of these, we're always like, hey, there are other people that can do this. So you don't have to be a one person show. Um, and that gets again, get you more in flow. Number eight is having a sign up partner page. Again, something super easy, but you can't be an affiliate joint venture partner if you don't have a partner link. Now, this one is critical. Jay does entire workshops on this one piece alone. Do you have at least one conversion strategy that works consistently? That means, do I have, could be a webinar. It could be a Facebook ad. It could be a, a in-person free workshop that I give. It could be a, a, a slow ticket workshop that I give, but I've got it so dialed in that anytime I want to put some energy behind it, I make the offer. People will show up because I'm doing what I know how to do and they're going to convert. They're going to buy because I've aligned the right audience with the right program, with the right price, and then I make money. Does that sound good to anybody? Or do you, would, you, would you rather just guess every time you want to make money? You're like, how should I make money this month? <laughs> Can any of you relate to that? You're like, that was awesome. I just did this whole big thing. It was okay. I made some money. I did a whole group program. Now it's over. Now what do I do? I know I'll, I'll invent something completely different. Um, there's a time for that, but it's, it's important that you, you zero it and you get that one that really, really works so that that can be that consistency. And then from there, you have more freedom and flexibility to start venturing out in other directions. Does that make sense? And let's, let's face it, it takes testing, right? It takes just getting yourself out there and trying and doing. You can't magically put it all together in your living room and then get it right the first time. It just, it takes being in action. And that's another really cool thing about the community that we have here at JVology is, is we get to be that support for one another. Um, it's just incredibly helpful. And then um, I will say the lastly is I have a sales page for my JV offers. So if all I did was lead people, but let's say I'm on Michael's podcast and I just send them my meditation and then that's it. And I'm thinking, you know what? They're going to love me so much that they're going to Google me and they're going to track me down and they're going to ask, gee, how do I work with Krista? And they're going to do some digging. And then someday they're just going to knock on my door and I'll be ready for them. But I think we recognize that that's totally not the case. So what this last, this number 10 is, is how do I make it easy for people to work with me? And the easier you make it for other people, the easier it is for them to say yes. And again, now we're on that ship and we're just sailing and flowing. How is that sounding for everybody? Give me a, we call this a, um, a two word check-in. So a two word check-in is what are you feeling right now? So just any two words that pop into mind, they're usually emotions and they could be um, separate experiences. So thumbs up is not a two word check-in Schroeder. You've been around here long enough. <laughs> You're funny though. I appreciate it. Awesome, amazing, inspired, exciting. All right, so is there something that, that you, was there anything like, oh yeah, that's kind of what I'm, I'm hoping for. They were like, I didn't really think about that or yes, I could have, use some insights or direction on that. Yeah, it is a thorough list. You're right, Roy. 
Um, you know, Jay hasn't been Jay Fassett for 35 years in this space for nothing. He's uh, one of the smartest guys I know, and he knows entrepreneurship and he knows this particular space of entrepreneurship incredibly well. And he dialed that in um, for this. This is what everybody needs whether you're going to JV or not, if you're going to have a successful business. And here's the thing, it doesn't have to be hard. And that's what he keeps reinforcing is this isn't a big something that's going to just take a bunch of time. It's just a matter of getting really clear, focus on each one and get them done. Does that make sense? Would you rather get really clear fast? All right, there's a question. Could you explain a little on the last step? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just Pop that right back up where everyone can see it. Thanks for asking the clarifying question. Um, so it says, I have a sales page for my JV offers. Um, so if I'm looking for joint venture partners, again, I'll just keep using the, the um, analogy with Michael, is Michael has a huge list. He has podcast following. He has a client base that is the same clientele that I want to work with, but I solve a different problem. So Michael's like, I'd love to have you on, on my show, Krista. I'll even send out an email to all of my people so that they know who you are and what you do. Um, and it could be that very perfect like next step after they've worked with me um, for them to work with you. And so I need to have something ready to go that when I, I have this JV offer, because here's the other thing. This is huge. I'm, I'm glad that you're asking me to poke around a little bit because I missed it the first time. Michael's got a super full schedule. He is on point about who's on his show and he's, every email he sends out has to be with intention. So if I can't say, hey, Michael, I've got this awesome program. It's 997. It converts really well. I think if I come on your show and I talk about it, um, it, people can, I'll give them this, the, the free meditation and I'm going to take them through a little bit. Of, I'll maybe invite them to a webinar like this or a, um, a workshop. And then when they buy that 997 program for me, which, you know, it's, it's just right what they're looking for. I'm going to give you 40%. So I've got, you know, whether $400 coming your way, whatever you negotiate. So Michael's like, all right. So Chris is a rock star. She's got the same my audience really needs what she has. And if I take the time and effort to send out emails about her and that I have her on my show and talk to everybody about her, I actually have a pretty good chance of making some money. For every one of my clients that buys Krista's stuff, I'm going to get 400 bucks. Does that resonate with anybody? Why would Michael have me on his show and email out for me, other than the fact that he likes me, um, for if I didn't have an offer, because at the end of the day, it's like, well, what's, what's in it for me? That was fun, but there's nothing coming back. So we're looking at this, um, as a very collaborative and supportive business arrangement to say, I value the clients that you have. I value your reach. I value the tribe that trusts you. And so if anyone from, from your tribe purchases from me or starts to work with me, I am so happy to give you a piece of what they paid me because without you, they never would have known me. They wouldn't have seen me and they wouldn't have paid me. Does that make sense? Can I get a yes, a hell yes? Oh, that's lovely. Whatever you want to put in the chat. I got a hallelujah. <laughs> Might even sing it. Might even sing hallelujah. I just kind of gave you the concept, Schroeder, of the importance of having a sales page. Um, we get into the details of that more in the workshop. That's a little bit deeper dive than what I'm going today. This is more um, conceptual. Um, all right, so I would love now, I'm just going to share with you um, what, all right, before I do that, take a moment, come up with words. I need words. I need something to go in the chat. <laughs> Which of this sounds, is there, is there even like which one, so something's got to stand out like, oh my God, landing page. I never thought about a testimonial. Oh, I think my CRM could use some work. Which of these things, just kind of off the cuff, I'm not, it's not a test or a quiz, but give me at least one thing in the chat that you're like, yeah, I probably should dive deeper and understand that more because I can see your fingers on your phone. <laughs> Tech stack. Yep. Come on. What else? I'm not going to let you guys off the hook. This is time for audience participation. Sign up page for partners in depth on the CRM. Yeah, so often we find people have, they're like, yeah, I have all my, all my emails are over here in MailChimp. We're like, okay, well, does that 
connect to your partner page and does that connect to your landing page? And, and when the answer is no, like, all right, well, then that's why we need to figure this out strategically so that does all happen with flow. Because we know that, that the tech uh, struggles can completely throw you off your game. So the smoother you can get these things in place where everything's integrated and aligned, again, it's all about alignment, alignment of the tech, alignment of your messaging, alignment of your efforts. That's when you're in flow. That's when your boat's sailing on the sunset, money's coming in. All right, sign up page, text landing page. All right, awesome, thank you for that. All right, and the last thing I would like to share with everyone today is, it's what I, I already kind of highlighted. Like there's learning these individual things. You can go, okay, great, here's my list. I'll send you the list of the 10 things. You can go off and Google it and you can try to dig around and find the best person for this or that to understand it. But it's not just about finding the information, which also can be a lot, right? Over information overwhelm. Um, it's about the way we've constructed this. So it's 10 modules over 12 weeks. We do a kickoff week at the beginning, a wrap up week at the end. And then each of those 10 modules gets attention one week done, check it off. Next week done, check it off. But it's not just about the information it's we've incorporated the mindset. So we start off every Monday and I lead a mindset call. Everybody comes in, we do that two word check-in and, and get just get really clear and grounded. Like, how am I feeling? Who am I? What else is going on in my life? Because let me put my water down for me, for Krista and the work that I do, what's most important, or at least in the very top list is that I help entrepreneurs build a business that fits within the life that you're building. And we tend to get so focused on the business and the doing and that point of the struggle, right? The, the perspiration category that the business takes over and falls lopsided out of the life, out of your the life you want to create. And nobody became an entrepreneur or infopreneur like this so that you could work more hours than you did at corporate, so that you could be so busy that you don't work out, so that you could have you know so much stress about doing things that you're not there to have um, dinner with your family. It's about creating a business that works inside the lifestyle that you choose. And so that mindset Monday is an opportunity to just recheck in and go, all right, how am I doing? Am I on track? How are all these other components in my life? And when that is your, your center and your balance, you're now you're in flow, you're feeling good, and your decisions are so much clearer because you know what's important to do, and that means everything else can fall off. Does that resonate with anybody? Would you like to have more of that of your focus? Family, health, love, friendship, travel, all of those things. Yeah, your business is just one. It's just one. Don't let it take over. The second part is the business basics training. That's the 10, 10 points. Uh, as I mentioned, in that, we create a one-hour time block. So it's an hour of training, an hour of time block. We get it done. Still on Zoom. Maybe turn your camera off. I'm here. Um, Robin, Ken, Queen, and I are, are co-leading along with Jay. Um, so you'll be learning from all of us. And then we're here like, hey, Krista, what do you think about this? Da, da, da. Okay, boom, and off doing your stuff. And then we check in at the end of the hour. So that implementation, implementation piece has been really, really um, beneficial for people. Uh, and then lastly is Friday's accountability call with Robin. It's not a big time. You just pop in. You're like during the, her one hour window, like, all right, Robin, this is what I'm doing. Boom, boom, boom. And she has been doing this um, in her masterminds and with high level people for years. It is her specialty and it just keeps things moving. So it is about you succeeding. And that's why we put all four of these pieces together. The other thing is um, the people in this program actually get more face-to-face, -face, hands-on time with, um, with our team than any other program. And we've really been able to develop some awesome relationships. Um, Victoria is gonna put in the chat what this page is, the jbology.com uh, slash business basics breakthrough. She's going to put it in. Um, so you can take a look at 
the experience of other people have had. Um, and then just to kind of sum it all up, um, this whole program, it would be a steal at the 5997. Um, we are doing um, this program for 2997. There are payment plans available if you can't do it all at once. And I'm gonna just take that off of the screen. Everybody got that? Nobody fell off their chair. Oh. Um, and let you know a couple of things that we're, we've done to make this more accessible. We're, this next round starts the beginning of April. And here's the cool thing. Each module, as I mentioned, is its own individual module. It's really not progressive. It doesn't one build on the other. They're each an independent idea. So if you miss one, you can't, or, or whatever, you're fine. Just keep coming on in when you can. If you have you know, some dates, you're like, oh, I can't come to three of them, so forget about it. No, still do it. And while this is a 12 week class course, and there's some breaks, we have a JVology Live in the middle. Um, I, don't, I think this whole thing gets over before summer and then we, we take kind of a, a pause um, during summer break, um, is you will have access to this program every time it's run for one whole year. So it will be run again in the fall and it'll be run again in well, winter of 2023. So you have access to um, take it if, if you want to do the whole thing. If you just want to put in your calendar, oh my gosh, I really need to come back to landing page and you know that. So it gives you um, continued access. You can continue the Mindset Mondays and the Accountability Fridays. So it's an incredible amount of, of um, support to help you get where you want to go. And again, the main thing is this, we get out of the struggle, into the flow, these are quicker fixes than you may think, the way that it's laid out. If you go about it on your own, you can still be in the same place a year or two from now struggling with it, with some of those pieces. Um, and just to make it a bit sweeter, and we're doing a fast action bonus, and this is really, really awesome. Um, if you get this today and then it's actually until Friday. So March 25th at noon, a day and a half from now to give people who watch the replay, the opportunity to take action, to watch this and do it without any additional cost. We've got the 2997 fast action. You will get a entire year of global lounge. Our global lounge is our community that meets two to three times every month. Um, and, and also a ticket to JVology Live, which is coming up. It's three days online, May 11th through 13th. So um, love for you to take advantage of, of that. That between those two, that's like another $2,000 um, value that we're gonna give just if you're able to take action now and see um, that this is something that you need. Now, again, if this is not something that you need, no problem. Um, however, we did lay out all those questions in the beginning and you've identified that you're you know, not at the six figure mark strongly and confidently yet. There's still a bit of struggle, lack of clarity, or you're trying to JV, but you're recognizing I'm not really a good JV partner yet. It's because these pieces aren't in order. So if, if you know any of these things that are resonating with you, like, yes, I just want the boat of my business to be strong and I can sail it. I wanna be a good JV partner where when I meet somebody like Michael Neely, who's like, yep, I've got the list, I've got the reach, come on, let's play. And you go, oh, well, I'm not quite ready yet. We wanna take you out of, I'm not quite ready yet and put you into done, I'm ready, bring it on. Who can I work with next? Does that resonate with everybody? All right, all right. Well, I do love to end on time. So we, since we are clearly within our, um, our bracket, I'm happy to answer any questions, um, any clarifying, I'll just stick around. But B, make sure you grab that link from Victoria, get that open on your browser, take a look through it, read through the testimonials. Um, chances are you may know many of the people who have already been through it, reach out to them. Be like, hey, I'm thinking about this, what do you think? Um, and, and really think about how, where you are with your, what is your relationship with your business and what do you want it to be? Uh, and with that, I'll say unmute if you have a question and I really appreciate you all being here. We've got a lot of great things coming up. JVology Live is our three-day online event, May 11th through 13th, three full days of learning 
this sort of thing and more. Oh, thank you, Sarah and Schroeder. Thank you for Deanna for staying to the end and Teresa and Roy and Lynn and Louise and those of you who are just saying bye and popping off. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Hey, Schroeder. Schroeder's going to be our spotlight member next week. Excited to have you. All right. It's Thanks, everybody. Be. Have a great day. Bye. And we'll see you at JVology, the perfect mix of people, fun, and profit. Bye-bye.